hey guys welcome back in this video we will learn em tags how do we create tags how do we utilize them just using the console etc not from programmatic uh, through program but within console how do we use them so to use them first we i have just logged into my em server we'll click on tools and there we should see this tagging so click on that and uh, on this UI, we'll have this create option. And if we click on that, it will ask uh, whether you want to create tag or namespace. Now, what is namespace? Namespace is also a tag. Okay. This is also a tag. It's just uh, we want to differentiate between different tags. So we'll create a primary tag. We call it as namespace and then children tags. So this is how we, we can create namespace. So if I just create a new namespace, and if I say, <coughs> I'll name it as, <coughs> excuse me, demo tech talk tech name space. So this is the namespace and let's create it. And what I will do, I'll just duplicate this and uh, access CRXT and this is the path where we have the tags content CQ tags and the namespace what we have just created demo text namespace is created I just want to show the JSON representation of this newly created namespace or tag so I'll just use the infinity dot JSON CQ tags dot infinity dot json cq i think there was a typo yeah there was a typo okay the new one what we just created Sorry, what was the name? Demo tech namespace. Yeah, this is the one. And if you see here, uh, the primary type is CQ tag only. Okay. So what I said earlier, even if we are creating namespace, it's just a tag. So that is that is first thing to understand. And there are few other details. Now I'll I'll create another tag inside this demo tech namespace. So I'll go click over here. I'll click on this and then create, create a new tag. And this is my first tag for demo. <coughs> and this is also created. Let's refresh it. And I will just maybe copy this so that I can search it. And this is also created. So even for our development purpose this is a nice structure because whatever namespace i have created and i am creating now children tags i'm getting in one response in one json response i'm getting the whole information okay now let's move on we can edit the tags if we uh, select either the tag or the namespace we we get this information we can create more tags we can edit it we can move it from one namespace to another one we can merge it for example i have two namespaces and maybe i want to merge it to one that is possible so maybe i can show you quickly so this is one namespace i have and maybe i want to move it to this demo tech namespace so i will just move and then it will ask it will ask where you want to move it so maybe i want to move it to um demo tech namespace here say success if there is no error i believe we should find it yeah now uh, we can edit the tag so if we select this one or ra i would rather this one merge we have already seen publish we can publish it to publish server and delete it okay let's edit it and here we also have a um, feature out of the box which is language so for example 
what is tag you will add it on your on your content maybe on your page or on your asset and this will help you uh, maybe for seo for search etc so there is a nice documentation by adobe i will uh, put this url also in the description of the video but why we use tags basically uh, they have given like flexible tagging improved searching seo enabling etc etc now for example if i'll add maybe a german language here and this is my first tag demo i'll just say first tag demo but the title of for german is maybe german <coughs> and i will add another language maybe for spanish and i will say this time the title should be spanish so this is my default title which is in english but maybe i want a german title i want a spanish title and i don't want to recreate the same tag with the different names i want to reutilize this localization feature so let's save it and if i just refresh the same json content now i should be able to see jci title de for german jci title es for spanish so what we can do uh, wherever we are using this tag and maybe we want to search implement search or maybe um, E reuse these titles okay so what we can do we can just use these properties okay so this is this is related to tags now how do we uh, use these tags on maybe assets or pages so let's go to the console again we are just create a new local host and maybe I want to add these tag on my asset I'll go to assets files and maybe i want to add this the new tags on this on this image i'll just select it i'll click on properties and i should see something called tag here i'll just select my newly created tag so i'll just select maybe these two tags And this tag is saved maybe i can show logo.png under content dam i'll go and logo.png i'll refresh it <clears throat> here we should see cq tags so the newly created tags and here we can also see the name is space and colon and then the tag name so this is how we use the name space the name is space colon and the tag name now let's see how do we tag a page so again i will go here and this time i will go to a page okay let's go to sites maybe i will go to weekend site only language master en and maybe i will add a new tag on adventures page so let let me add it so there are two ways first i will add it i have opened it and i will just select the page properties this is one way and here i should see the tags on the under basic tab another way would be i will just select it here i'll go to properties either way we are landing on the same page and here after this we'll just go to tags maybe i'll select my tag where is that the demo name space no no this one i'll select my tags and submit it so my page is tagged now with the newly created tags i'll save it and let me refresh this page because once i tag this page what happens let's see so it's in preview mode and maybe let's inspect this page in the element section we should find our tags so what was the name of the tag it's it was first tag a oh it, there was a typo tag a demo okay yeah and the page has been tagged with uh, the tags i have added and the good thing is it's now added as a meta keyword so it means it's it will help in seo um, i mean this is how we add it. 
for example if i want to add the tags maybe on any of the existing image for example this one so another way would be i'll go to that image this is my teaser i should be able to add it it asset and this is the image so from here itself i can add it it then i will go to properties and here i will have the tag i will just add the new tag so where is that tag the tags are added save it and now let's refresh the page again because the tags are added to the image to preview and this time we should see something called xdm tags so xdm tags are added to this image uh, where are the yeah here it is xdm tags and whatever tags we have created we can see them so the again i mean based on our business use case we can use these tags so that's it in this video and hope you will enjoy it thank you so much for watching